Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be making the weapon prefabs that we should have made before but I kind of forgot about it and now we have to do it today. It's not too hard, it's going to be a short video and in the next video we're going to do the pickup script. So we already have our weapon prefabs that we made before and we can place them somewhere in the level, it doesn't really matter where we place them. If we want the player to be able to just come to these weapons, look at them press E or any other button and pick them up we need them to have colliders and the easiest way to do it is not to add the collider to the main game object you can open it up select the actual mesh go add component and add the box collider component and then you can change the size on the Y axis for example for this one so it fits it something like this this will be the collider just to detect the, the weapons position you can go ahead and do the same thing for all the other weapons for example for the M9 go to the mesh add the box glider and then change the Y size to something like this that will work fine for the M4 go to the mesh box glider and the box glider actually fits perfectly for this one and now you can go to the last gun the double barrel at the box collider and this one does not fit per perfectly but we can change that now it's good and also another thing we want to uh, do is add them to a different layer whenever we want the player to pick up a weapon we want the ray cast that detects the weapon to work only on a certain layer for example the default layer works on everything every single uh, object in the game and we do not want to detect a tree whenever we want to pick up a weapon we do not want to detect a stone whenever we want to pick up a weapon or detect I don't know a block or the fountain or something we want to only detect the weapons you can do that by going to the game object in the upper right corner going to layer and adding a new layer this one will be called pickup and then assigning that layer to that game object and then change the children of course and do that for all other objects now they're in a separate separate layer and our player will be able to detect them easily also we need to create a new script that is going to be called item ID this will have to be on all our weapons this is a very simple script it will only have one variable in it it will be integer item id, item ID. and I will make it public since I want other scripts to be able to access it and I cannot attach the script again to the main game object the script needs to be on the same game object that the, the collider is on since whenever we raycast the player is going to um, communicate with the collider and it's going to find the item ID script from that same game object so if our item ID script is on this game up is on this game object the player won't be able to find it because we'll be commu communicating with this game object since the collider is on this one so I'll just drag the item ID script and then I will go to my game controller and open up my item database and check which item ID M9, ha M M9 has M9 item ID is 4 so I will go to the M9 and I will change the item ID here to 4 I will go to M200 attach the script to the mesh go to the game controller go to item database check for M200 and the item ID in our item database is 3 so I will go and change the item ID script to 3 the same thing for the rest of the weapons so let me just repeat this again the item ID variable in the item ID script on the object has to match the item ID of that object in the item database let me try and explain this to you so whenever we want to pick up a weapon we'll come we'll look at our weapon and then we'll raycast from the middle of the screen to that weapon we will get the item ID script from that weapon and take its item ID so for example 
if we went to the M9 and we wanted to pick it up, we'd press E, get the get the item's ID from the item ID script, which is four, and then we'll we'll contact the item database, find the element that has the item ID four and then take its object and instantiate it in our hand. Hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, it will in the next episode, which should come up uh, very quickly. So hopefully this helped you. Look out uh, for the next episode since we're going to be making the pickup system. Go follow me on my social media. There's links to that in the description. You can support me on Patreon if you want. And if not, you can also share it with uh, your friends or just do everything. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.